like, you know, like, Dragon's been boozing a little bit too much. I just feel like I'm like, ugh. Like, been posting videos lately I was a little bit sick but everything is great now so one I wanted to announce that I'm back two I have some really cool videos coming up to show you and three I want to get you guys pumped up for Halloween Halloween man Halloween's my favorite holiday I love fall I love all things Halloween so this is gonna be a Target haul I'm having a Halloween party this year Last year I was living in Sao Paulo and I had a really cool Halloween there. Uh, but Halloween in Brazil is a little bit different. It's a little on the smaller scale. It's not as crazy. So this year I'm going over the top. I'm having a big Halloween party for my friends. And I went to Target. They have some really good sales right now. Middle of the month trying to get rid of their inventory. So I went. I got some things. I'm going to show you what I got. They're all in these bags here. So this video we're just going to do a quick and dirty Target Halloween haul, show you some of the things that I bought, uh, let you know what kinds of things they have there, maybe inspire some purchases that you have been thinking about making. So let's do it. Let's take a look inside my bags and see what kinds of things we're working with. Okay, let's get started. The first thing, traditional pumpkins. I decided to get some pumpkins from Target. My dog is going to help me do this. She is sitting in. She likes Halloween. Come here, Corona. Come show yourself. Here she is. You gonna help me do this? You gonna help me do this review? This haul, huh? I love you. The first, <laughs> first things I wanna show you guys are this uh, pumpkin I got. They have this really like designer looking pumpkin. It's not the most uh, well-made item. You can see some of the, the bead work isn't really straight, but I thought it looked pretty cool. I thought at least until we really get into the swing of things, deep into Halloween, if I just kind of put this out on a table, it'd just be a kind of subtle decoration to celebrate fall. I got some other pumpkins as well. I got these two little guys. These guys are great because these little pumpkins, they last like the whole month. They never really start to rot. I think I got another pumpkin in here somewhere. Yep, yeah, here's one. I got this guy, this funny pumpkin, just laughing at you. I don't know, I thought it was cute, and again, these smaller pumpkins do tend to last longer than the bigger pumpkins. They don't rot as fast, so until I'm ready to carve my jack-o'-lanterns, these are good. Um, I got some things for the table. I got some plates. I think these were on sale. I think they were two for one, so I think they were just three dollars. Um, the brand, by the way, the Target brand, they've done a really good job. It's called Hide and Eek or Hide and Eek Boutique. And I think that they've really come up with some really cool Target only items um, that are pretty nice. I think they are getting to the point where they're really competing with uh, Party City as the other big, big box Halloween purveyor. Maybe not as many costume things, but Target's definitely on point. So we got these plates, got these plates. Of course, when I go to Target, I'm really only ever looking to buy like cat litter and some toilet paper and I end up leaving with hundreds of dollars of stuff I did not plan on buying. I think that's kind of Target's thing. Whatever, it works for me. They got me. I'm a big consumer. Okay. I got this bag of spiders. Easy, easy decor idea. It's just $3. They're pretty cool. There's a lot of them. They're pretty big. I think I'll just sprinkle them all over the table or sprinkle them around. Maybe put them in the bathroom. I don't know. For uh, some general decor stuff, I got this gauze just to drape on things, just to make it look more Halloween-ish. Um, I also got this tablecloth for my table. I think with the plates, um, this is like a spider motif. It's gonna look like a spider web when I put it on my table. So then I got the spider plates and then I got a little spider. So I guess the dining area of the party will kind of have a spider theme. I'm not gonna show you guys everything. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the stuff I have. Um, I also didn't get a lot of the stuff. Of course, they didn't buy everything. Um, they have a lot of really cool animatronic 
decor items right now. Some of them I think are a little too small though. They're almost like collector item looking pieces that I don't really think you can build a whole design or a whole room around. I think they're just too small. Um, some of the other things I think I already have, like I already have a projector, I have a fog machine, so I didn't go cra too, too, too crazy, but they do have a lot of cool stuff. And they're like gift bag section, they have so many cool things, and I think I'm gonna have to go back because I really to, would like to get some of the spider rings or a little finger, some of the more classic bag items. I did pick up these little buckets of slime that I think would be pretty cool even to give out to trick-or-treaters this year. It was three dollars and you can see that there's just all of these different colors of slime and little containers. I honestly don't know how messy they're gonna be. I haven't tried. Let's try one, right? Let's open up and try one. I'm just gonna say I don't know how messy it is or how gooey it is, but you know what? That's what these videos are for. So let's go ahead open this little slime guy up. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it. Give it a little snip. It doesn't really smell like anything. It's a little wet. It feels a little wet, but the wetness is not staying on my finger. So I'm, I don't think this is like a really sticky mess causing slime. I really like the color and it already has a little fun can for it. So that's cool. I guess I'll give these out. I'll put them out. I don't know if people will take them. The age range in my party gets might skew a little too old, but I don't care. I love this kind of fun stuff. So moving on. They have so many different lighting options and different lights and honestly I really wanted to buy everything. Um, I did just notice they had this light strand where they're jars and they've got little spiders at the bottom of the jars and I think that just looks wicked. That just looks so cool. I think I might need to buy that. I don't know, what do I need it for, right? But I had to go ahead and buy this string of lights. It says it was $13.99 but I might have gotten it on sale for $10. Um, all I can reference, honestly, I'm sorry about my receipt, are the prices on the boxes or on the items themselves, but I believe there was a 20% off sale when I was there, so I don't think all of these I purchased for the full price, um, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna be cheaper. So for now, let's just say it's $13.99. These are what the lights look like. I think they're pretty cool. They've got these little blackbirds inside, which I think is really elegant. I'm hoping that I can maybe use these for something else besides just Halloween. I mean, not all year long. I'm not like that kind of creepy goth guy, but I think these are pretty rad. So I'll find something to do with these for my party, but hopefully it'll just add a little bit more ambient light. And then speaking of lighting, I did get um, this next item. I'm hoping this next item I can actually use all year or at least fall to like spring so it's a candle holder a candle would you call it a candelabra i don't know it's a candle holder and it's actually this is sturdy this is metal um i think it's just steel or nickel or who knows some cheap metal but it was 30 bucks but i am planning to use this pretty often. I'm going to put some candles in it, put it on my table. I don't know, I think it's pretty nice. I think it's more than just a Halloween item, but will definitely be used this Halloween. Um, I'm sure I can dress this up and make it look Christmassy, so this is a pretty versatile item. I'm really glad I bought it. I recommend this if you can find these at Target. These are pretty cool. They have really nice things for your home. Okay, so next, how about some costumey stuff? Um, they had a discount going on where it was buy, buy one mask and get the other free. So I bought two. I bought this dragon mask. And I also got this wolf mask. Um, the wolf mask, I believe the regular price is $40. And I do believe that's what I spent for both of these items because of the sale. This item, the dragon mask, usually goes for, it's 20 bucks. 
So I guess they just gave me the dragon head for free, which was good because I'm probably not going to wear either of these for Halloween. I, I have to admit, these are really just kind of going to be like for other things throughout the year. You, know, you never know when you need a dragon mask, right? Maybe you're going to a Game of Thrones party like I like to go to. The only thing about this dragon mask, I have to say, is that the eye, when you have it on, like if you look at it like this, okay, it's like a scary dragon mask, right? Or at least like, not scary, but you know, he's ferocious, he's fierce, he's a fierce beast. When I put it on, I swear that the eye, he kind of looks drunk. Like, you know, like, Dragon's been boozing a little bit too much, and I just feel like I'm like, ugh, like with the mouth agape. I don't know. So I actually don't even know how much I'll wear this. I really, honestly, I wanted this wolf mask. I had to have it the second I saw it. I'm like, I'm going to use that so much, more than just for Halloween. I mean, check this thing out. Like, this reminds me of the mat, like, of this kind of special effects they'd have uh, in movies in like the 80s like this would be like the dog man and look the mouth moves like the technology of this is so simple there is a chin strap that goes underneath your chin and when you move your mouth this moves but I just think the effect is so worth it my dog hates it my dog is terrified of this thing let's see if she'll come over for me but yeah let's put it on show you guys what it's all about Oh, one other thing, one other gripe, one unfortunate thing. When you find these masks, do not put them on when you get home until you clean them properly. These things get worn. Is it, move, is it moving? Yeah. These things get worn so much at the Target store that I feel like they end up looking pretty gross. I'm feeling pretty gross, and they're not really sanitary, but, um, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, check this out. It's a cool mask. I could use this for Lord knows how many reasons. It definitely is home with my dog. I don't know if you can hear me this whole time I'm talking, but it's a, it's a rad mask. Um, the big thing that I was saying when I had it on is make sure you clean these when you get home, especially the inside. Target is like a playground. People there, they want to try everything and play with everything, and these things can get pretty, pretty gross uh, before you end up buying them, which is almost a little disappointing. And honestly, there are things I often want to buy that I just don't because I know that they've been touched by a billion people already. And that, that kind of is a bummer. But this was in a good enough shape that I was able to get it home and clean it. So. I'm really happy with this purchase. I would get so many masks like this, I'm, but I'm crazy, I love costumes, so. Okay, moving on, next costume I got for my dog. Uh, I don't know if I should spoil what she's gonna be this year. All right, screw it, I'm gonna spoil it. My dog this year, and Target had the perfect costume. I wanted to make my, my dog a dragon from Game of Thrones because my costume's gonna be from Game of Thrones and I'm not gonna say what it is yet. But I decided, hold on, sirens, New York City. Okay, I decided to have her be the ice dragon from Game of Thrones. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones and what happens, there's an ice dragon now. So my dog is going to be the ice dragon. We're going to work it out. You'll see, I promise to show you guys what she ends up looking on Halloween, but I'm not going to put it on her now. But it's really cool. It's like the perfect color. It looks icy. It's blue. Had to have this. Let's see how much this was. Is the price tag on it still? Um, I have already tried this on her, so... I might have lost the price tag. I think it was 20 bucks. I want to say most of their things, that's the price point, is about 20 bucks. Um, which is great, because you can get all this stuff and not feel like you've spent too much of a fortune. I mean, I'm pretty lucky that I work hard and I have a good job and I can get all this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Last item, actually I have two more items. One is something I love, and one turned out to be a big disappointment. 
So let's start with the disappointment. I'm probably just going to give this to a friend who really wants this because I don't know what I was doing. But I saw this and it was $3 and it says that there are 20, 20 temporary face tattoos. And so I'm thinking there's like 20 looks or 20 very different face tattoos in it. And you open it up and it's only $3 so I'm not going to cry about it. but. It's basically just the same face twice. So it's the, it's the face that she has with these tattoos, and I guess each of these has 10 in it, so you get two, and that's your 20. So it's, it's, it's one look twice. I kind of don't like the way it was advertised. If I knew it was just the same look twice, I don't know if I would have gotten it. I don't know if I'll end up using this, we'll see. So, not happy about this. I don't recommend the face tattoos unless you think that's like super, super hot and you just want to be her, then go for it. Three bucks. There's your costume. So the final thing I got, I really love this thing. I think this is... It's making noises. Can you just hold on a second? Okay. I think this is the final thing I got. It's a big item. It's about five feet. It was $25, but I got it on sale for 20 and I think this is like a king of Halloween, like a focal point for any room. It's really fun, I wanted something to hang. So I got this guy here. If you can see, the animation on the face is really awesome. So he's gonna get hung up. When you come in, he's gonna greet people. I really like this guy. It's a good $20 spent. I think it's a really good value. So yeah, are you guys excited for Halloween? Are you guys dressing up this year? Are you guys throwing parties? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys like Target? Do you guys spend more money at Target than you are preparing for? Do you want this guy? Is he annoying you? He's annoying me. Give this video a like. Subscribe for more content. I promise I have some more cool videos coming up for you even later this week. So yeah, peace.